Okay, we are ready to start playing the game. Uh, the lines are set. The starting pitchers indicated by a one are there. We move the cursor to the box in the middle of uh, the number for the first inning, the big box. To the left of that is a smaller box, which will indicate, as, we'll, as I'll show, a player who scores a run. To the right of the big box is a smaller little column if a player drives in a run. And the box adjacent to that, to the right, is if a runner steals a base and I'll illustrate this as we play. So let's play the first inning and you can use the F9 key to start out a game but every time you do an input the, the, you automatically get a recalculation. You get a recalculation for your dice roll. Here's your, you know, obviously it's the, di the three dice. This big box is the 20 sided dice. Um, you have in here these are the uh, T rate, the, 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 all the 20 sided dice, steal, advanced T ratings are in here. And of course, here is the two dice you need for bunting, hitting, running, and stealing. Uh, this field here is for inputting uh, the fielding for the charts, and the result gets generated from charts that I have. Let's start with an F9, and I'm just going to do this fictionally. So I've hit F9, and I roll 6 4. Uh, let's, say, that's, let's say it's a catcher's card. So let's say catcher, you put a two for position. Let's say he's a three, E8, okay? Uh-oh, E1. So he made a one base error, so you put E2 there. I'm gonna try and get through this really quickly so I don't have the cards to look up. So you just put E2 there. You get to the next spot, the next player, Jerry Harrison, rolls a six, six. Let's say it's a uh, fly ball to center field. You type a slash. Anytime a player gets an out, that's not a strikeout. You use a slash and then the position slash eight means fly ball to center field just for record keeping all right next batter francona three seven let's say that's a pop out to short slash six now with two outs let's say you want to steal second base with ellis burks okay you you look at his stealing on his chart you, you and then you roll the dice you look over here at seven okay and then you have to compute that manually well is what is this easy an a steal or b steal or whatever you know what it is. He rolled a seven on first stealing. So if he's safe, you go into the column to the far right and put a two, meaning he steals second base. Now, if he steals third base, you use a three. Okay. In the same inning, if he steals second and third base, you type in a five. If he steals second, third, and home, <laughs> In an inning, and I have, if, you, if this were to happen, which is highly improbable, it, well, you would type in two, three, you type in a nine. You, you basically, for every base, second, third, and home, two, three, and four, and add them up, you would type a nine there. Now, let's go back and leave the two there. Let's say he steals second base. And then Jim Rice comes up, rolls a uh, one, ten, that's a strikeout. For strikeouts, you put the letter K. All right, well, let's go down. I'm just going to keep going. I'm going to go through now all the various symbols. I'm not going to go over here to, with too much of this. Uh, what is a walk? A walk is an eight. If a player walks, you put the number eight. A single is a one. Uh, let's get a double play here. <laughs> Runner goes a third with two outs, and uh, Wally Joyner strikes out. All right, so we've seen a single, a walk, a strikeout, a stolen base. Now what else do we have? Let's go to the second inning for this guy. Let's say Tony Armas doubles. All right, let's say Nick Asaski triples. All right, so this guy gets an RBI, right? So you put a one in this column, and you see it's red, okay, for the, the column. It means he drove in a runner. And then you put Armis, you put a one in here, and that means he scored a run. And then up top, it means that Boston has gotten one run in this inning, and they lead one to zero, all right? Uh, let's see, runner at third. I thought it was three more strikeouts. There you go. All right, so what do we have so far? We've got a walk, a strikeout. Um, what else do we have here? We have a single, a double, a triple. We don't have a home run yet. Ryan Dowling's up. Home run. He rolled a four. If he hits a home run, he scores a run, drives in a run. So anytime it's a home run, a solo homer is one for one. Obviously a two-run homer, there would be a two there, etc. But it's a solo homer. See, so what else do we need to simulate all of the uh, stats in a baseball game? Um, see, we got run scored. We got our, Let's do some more runs. Single, single, single. How about a three-run triple? There you go. So he scored, he scored, he scored in a three-run triple. How about a sack fly? Sacrifices. Sacrifice is what I do because they aren't charged plate appearances. I use another numeric. 
and I use the number nine. A nine is a number I use for sacrifice bunt or sacrifice fly. What it does is it doesn't increase the at bat uh, statistic in the chart. Uh, in this case, it's a sacrifice fly, so you got to give this guy an RBI and get this guy a run scored. All right, just one out in the second inning. This guy's going to ground out the second. This guy's going to fly out the center. What else do we need to do here? Now we're in the third inning. Let's see. Um, we got everything, don't we? We got it. We showed what you do for an error. Um, let's see. I don't keep track of caught stealings. The runners getting thrown off the bases. This is just basically keeping track of at bats, runs, hits, RBIs, doubles, triples, homers, walk strikeouts, and stolen bases. So we're just gonna have some pretty remarkable pitching. Three up and three down. Fly out the left, fly out the center, ground out to the mound. You see, it's just it's really quick just to do this this way. Let's use the charts a little bit more though. Let's have a single. Uh, let's do a hit and run now. That's uh. So I hit with hit and run, uh, you rolled a 10. And on the 10 hit and run chart, the batter pops out. So he popped out. Very simple. Let's do it. Okay, let's have a single here. Let's do a bunt. Bunt eight. That's pretty decent. That's probably a sacrifice. So he sacrifices and you got a runner at second. Then a ground ball and a strikeout. What else do we need to do? I want to do everything in this game I can. I've got bunting, hitting, running. Uh, I've thought stolen a base. Oh, advancing a runner. Let's try that. So he singles, he doubles. All right, this guy doubles. Now you want to see if this guy scores from first base. So you look over to the advance card, you hit return, and advance, one. Well, anybody scores on a one. So he ran and scored from first base in this double. So he scores. What else do we need to do? Uh, how about a catcher's card? Let's say a catcher's card and you got a T, no. You steal a base, he steals a base and you roll a T rating. And then here, T rating one to 11. And then you see if the runner goes to third base on the T rating. So do I have everything? Let's do a squeeze play. Get a double play going there. Um, okay. All right. Squeeze play. This guy triples, and then this guy, and then the next batter squeeze a uh, ten. That's not any good. It's probably a uh, gun down at the plate. So here we go. I've done everything in uh, T ratings, advanced deals, all the things here. Let's use a fielding chart some more, shall we? Let's do that. Strike out. Strike out. All right. Jim Rice. Let's see. 2-8, that's a ground ball to second. 2-9, uh, it's a fly out to right. 3-11, K, I'm getting all, all in the pitcher's card. Look at this, I'm all in the pitcher's card, hitter's card now. 2-7's a K. All right, 5-12, let's say that's second X. Second baseman is a 2-E-22. E Another error. So he gets on by error. So you put E-4. All right, 2-4, that's a double play. Let's get to the next inning. All right, this guy, K is... 6-6, uh, six, six. let's say that's a short X. So shortstop is a 1-E-12. Uh, and it's a GBA. That would have been a double play if there was, that would have been a double play if there was a runner on base. All right, that we've done catcher. Let's do an outfielder. Let's say, let's say uh, air outfielder. Left fielder is a 3-E-7. And it's he gave up a single dot dot, so he put a single there. And Ellis Burks, it's a two-run homer. All right, we got a hell of a ball game here. All right, so it's five-four. I'd say uh, uh, Angels are going for pitching change. So Nepper's gone six and two-thirds, right? So you put in six and two-thirds, which is the fraction twenty divided by three. If you do, if you type twenty divided by three in there, it says six and two-thirds. Now you're going to your bullpen. Let's bring in uh, this guy, Greg Minton. He comes in in the seventh inning. Scroll over to the inning. He's going to face the number two hitter. You can put in two, or you can put in Jerry Harrison. This is just for notes. I'm not, this, these don't get accumulated. This is just to reference you when you go back to do the pitching stats later. And then after that, you can go up and see what just happened. He rolls a 6-6, six, six, which is probably a kick. All right, bottom of the seventh. Uh, Clemens is still hurling. I'd say he strikes out the side. Let's get this game over with. <laughs> Let's get into the eighth inning. It's 5-4. Uh, Francona, 65. He skies a left. This guy's center, this guy's the right. Clement's gonna go for a complete game. Uh, he pops it, grounds a short, another K, and another K. <laughs> and the ninth inning, let's say boss, uh, California brings a closer in. Let's, uh, so this guy pitched the inning in a third, and ninth inning. And uh, let's see, he, because uh, 
obviously he has to you know you just you don't have to put any notation here since he's not coming in in the middle of the inning he's coming in the start of an inning all right let's say that though they're going to pinch it for a sasky uh so say it's tim flannery so we'll go here say tl or tf for tim flannery or you can say 12 where his box is that's fine so now you go to the 12 box here tim flannery three six let's make this interesting he hits a base hit all right so so now that's the first bench player and his stats will get used, okay? Uh, Jim Sunberg, let's, uh, Wade Boggs is gonna come up. All right, and then this guy, uh, I don't like facing him with a lot of righty. Let's bring in a lefty. Let's say Chuck Finley coming out of the ball, uh, angel bullpen. He's gonna face Wade Boggs, WB. And lo and behold, uh, it's a four, six, three double play. Sorry, Boston. Uh, and then there with two outs in ninth, let's see, Hoffman's the batter now. Now you go back up here. These two spots you leave blank because they were pinch hit for. Glenn Hoffman case and ball games ever. And Angels win 5-4. All right, so the last thing you do is you put in the final, make sure your innings pitch here are correct. Clemens worked eight innings, and uh, Chuck Finley came in and got the final two-thirds. And there it is. If you add this up, you've got 6-7. Oops, did I miss something here? Oh, no, he fixed an entire inning. That's right. There you go. Uh, six and two-third, inning and a third for the middle reliever, and Finley pitched the final inning and body pitch to a batter all right so at this point you're now ready to get stats so we're going to stop the video now and i'll get to i'll get to the stat keeping